Hello and welcome to an yet another day at the valley going out on the water with Dan's Helmatic because, well, it's sunny, why the hell not? Today's going to be a nice short video. We're going to show you how we launch. Nice and simple. First of all, let's take the straps off. So it's time to get the boat prepared to launch. First of all, Next, we take the back straps off. That's the back straps off. As you can see on this boat, we have submersible lights. So we don't actually have to remove them on this boat. If you've got a normal light board, you do. And that's the only difference and there's also there was a front strap on here but, uh, Dan's already removed that the only straps that should be on now are the actual winch strap and also we have a safety chain just in case the winch strap gives way and uh, down the slipway so if the strap gives way if the chain's still got it it won't fall off the trailer other than that, we're ready to go. So now it's time to reverse down the slipway, taking your time as much as possible. Because when you rush, that's when things go wrong. And plus, you don't want to run over anyone or hit anything. So just take your time. Let's do it. Also with this big boat on the back I'm doing it in low range, if you've got that option you may as well use it. So we're at the bottom of the slipway, lock your wheel over, put it in first gear and put the handbrake on, switch the engine off. There you go. The reason we do that is if the handbrake fails, the gear uh, may stop it going backwards. If that doesn't stop it going backwards, the Land Rover or whatever you're towing with will jackknife uh, the trailer and hopefully not go all the way into the water. So, now we get out. And as you can see, Dan's in the boat ready and uh, he started the engine up to make sure it's working before we lay it off the trailer and we walk around this way don't go between the trailer just in case the handbrake does let go are you running Dan? <laughs> this water's cold now as you see the wheels are in the on the trailer and we're just touching the water with the back end of the car. Yours might be different, you might not have to touch the water. Try and keep the car out of the water as much as possible. Now, Dan's put, put the boat in forward gear, so it takes a bit of pressure off the front end here. So what we do is, we take, take the safety chain off. Like so, let that hang like so. Now, we release the strap itself. The hook's off. So now it's completely free. He puts it in reverse. And off he goes. <laughs> and that's how it's done. Nice and easy. 
perfect day out on the water, ready to house.